one. Tonight, the Don is most definitely on. Back at the Cigar Castle, and tonight, I'm going to show you how to refill your butane lighter. So, for the more experienced cigar smoker, he's probably well familiar with how to refill his butane lighter. But for the newest smoker out there, or somebody that's it, had it done on his own behalf for a while, may not be too well familiar with how to do it. And that's what I'm gonna do for you here tonight. So you can see I'm smoking a cigar, and tonight it's the La Aurora Extreme Untamed. It's a Maduro, fabulous little cigar. And I'm gonna put that cigar down in the ashtray when I refill my butane lighter and push it away from me a little bit. Because fire and butane don't mix very well. Okay, so the Mad Dog, I'm gonna ask him to pan down here. I'm gonna show you some butane by Calibri. A Zycar cylinder lighter and the Zycar scissors which have a tool on them for decompressing the air out of the lighter. Goodbye. Goodbye Dennis and tonight I have the Mad Dog filming. So the first thing I like to do is to decompress by pressing the little nipple at the bottom of the lighter here with the tool. Now, an uh, eyeglass uh, screwdriver would work the same way here. And when I press that, you're gonna hear a little bit of a hiss. A hiss in the way that a cat might hiss or a snake might go hiss. So there's a lot of hissing. So let's see if you can hear the hiss. Did you hear that hiss? I did. And I hit it again a second time to get a little more. And then it's building up again. And a third. Now that should be decompressed well enough. You can see there's a little bit of butane left in there. So now I'm going to take the butane can and always use something that's uh, of good purity. You can see here the quality is 99.999% pure. The Zycar would be equally as good. I think Davidoff makes a brand. Um, I think uh, Simon Tussaud, DuPont makes a brand as well. Those are all of very good quality. There's probably some others out there too, but just look for that purity so it doesn't clog your lighter. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to put that right where I decompressed on that same nipple and just press down steady and it's just about reaching its maximum for the first pass. Okay now I take it off and I just want to give you an example now of how much more pressure it's under. You can hear that hiss much more pronounced now and you can even see some butane coming out. You see that liquid running. Okay. You see it's freezing up a little bit. It's very cold. I'm going to go in again. It's going to get a little bit higher this time. Okay, if you really want to go crazy, you could turn it a little bit, different angles, like this. Pump it up and down a couple of times just to get all of the air out the best you can. You don't have to go too crazy here. You can still see there's a little bit of a bubble there. And that's okay. That lighter is filled to capacity. Let's give it a whirl. The lid on the first try. Sometimes it'll take three to five minutes to come up. So if it doesn't light right away, that's okay. Now, sometimes these jets get clogged up or dirty and you can clean them by just going at it the other direction. It's just a very quick squirt, as you can see. Now, don't try to light it too soon after, because some of that butane is still sitting there. Let it, allow it to evaporate. Um, otherwise, you, you might get a little bit of a ball of flame. Now, I think enough time has passed, so let's give it another. And you can see it's not lighting yet, so let's let it come up in temperature a little bit. I'm putting my thumb over the top, my finger over the bottom, just to get things a little bit warmer. It's still cold. And you could change positions on your hand so it has some new, a new warm spot to help warm it up as your hand gets colder. And I still feel the cold. So we'll give it another shot. There we go. And when you clean it like that, the flame becomes a little bit sharper, which is nice because it helps with the precision. And right now I have this, uh, this lighter turned down to its lowest setting, which is right where I like to be. You burn less butane, one, two, it's less um, volatile on the cigar when you're lighting it. So that's it. That's how we refill our butane lighter. 
I'd like to thank the Mad Dog for filming this uh, episode of the Don Antonio Show coming you, to you from the Cigar Castle at 56th and Fowler in Tampa, Florida. And I hope to see you soon. Don Antonio, signing off.